<laughs> Hello guys we are here today in San Andres Romblon and today we will cook unhusked rice or fale and make pinapig through the old tradition of rice milling or we called pounding of rice. And first I will put wood to have a fire and prepare the pan for cooking the fale and let's just wait for the fale to heat up and let's mix it together. Then we'll put the fale in the wooden bowl. And now we will witness the handsome Wen C. Ferreira how he cooks pinapig using a long stick wood. What do I mean about pounding rice? It is the repeated and heavy striking or hitting of someone or something using stick wood. In Tagalog it means pagbayu. The sound, feeling, or action of something beating repeatedly. Did you guys see that? He is good at pounding rice. What you need here is the strength and patience, so that you can focus on what you are doing and if you make a mistake the rice will be thrown into the wooden bowl. <laughs> He's trying to do it one-handed and it's clear he can do it one-handed, it's great. And until he continues pounding rice, you will see that the fale is white, which means that the rice chaff is already crushed. What does rice chaff mean? Rice hulls are the hard protective coverings of grains of rice. In addition to protecting rice during the growing season, Rice hulls can be put to use as building material, fertilizer, insulation material, or fuel. Rice hulls are part of the chaff of the rice. A good right timing entry can avoid dropping the rice. Do you miss it too? What are you waiting for come here now? Right entry into the wooden bowl is a good timing for pounding rice. They thought Wen Si didn't know how to do old-fashioned work like this, but the truth is that he knows everything about traditional work. The correct timing entry will prevent the rice from falling into the wooden bowl. And in the end it will make you tired because this kind of work is tiring, and when it's done you can transfer it to a big pot to take and put new rice again. The process of pounding and sifting the rice was repeated three times until the grains were white on the outside and ready to be cooked. A rice pounder is an agricultural tool, a simple machine that is commonly used in Southeast Asia to dehull rice or to turn rice into rice flour. The mortar, or bottom piece, has a hollowed out bowl where harvested rice hulls are placed. The hulls are pounded with the pestle, the long wooden paddle, until the grains of rice separated out. What's so special about the pounding? The action of pounding removes the husk and turns patty into edible rice. In the process, the grain still retains its healthy nutrients as the bran is more or less intact. Thus, this variant is better for well-being as compared to the machine processed rice. This kind of whole grain is a complex carbohydrate and bears a mild nutty flavor. Hand-pounded rice is full of fiber and may take longer to cook. And you will see that the rice is white, because of speed and skill it is easy to do.
This mortar and pestle for pounding grain was used in the process of threshing, or separating, grains of rice from the rice plant. Threshing was a very labor-intensive process. The mortar, or bottom piece, has a hollowed-out bowl where harvested rice hulls are placed. The hulls are pounded with the pestle, the long wooden paddle, until the grains of rice separated out. The pestle of this unit is a solid piece of cypress wood that is 38 inches long, and weighs about 25 pounds. After the grains of rice were separated, the rice was sorted from the hulls by shaking them through a basket woven of leaves and grass. When C the handsome vloggers is tired and he is still trying to work and continue pounding rice. Do you guys know that this kind of work is easy at first but in the middle your hands will hurt and you will sweat. So all I can say is that you need patience in this kind of work because it also has good benefits that can give exercise to our bodies like this kind of work. And later someone will challenge him in pounding rice. Challenge. Okay, guys. Challenge. Okay. Challenge. 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 What? <laughs> Bayou is an indigenous culture, where rice is made into rice. Due to the remoteness of their location, there is no working machine to grind their rice. So their daily food depends on this, the drying of rice to become rice. This kind of work is done only once in a while, because most of the food in the mountains is sweet potatoes, nami and fruits that they grow in the mountains. Bread guys. Limbok boys, nung unong kabataan. Kaway-kaway naman dyan. Anong re? Anyo, kaway-kaway naman. Pati-pati naman. Okay. Get out. Get out kay Saidi. Okay. His hand hurt from pounding rice. What can you say to him? Comment down below. Okay, so... Milling is the process wherein the rice grain is transformed into a form suitable for human consumption, therefore, has to be done with utmost care to prevent breakage of the kernel and improve the recovery. Brown rice is milled further to create a more visually appealing white rice. After harvesting and drying, the patty is subjected to the primary milling operation which includes dehusking as well as the removal of bran layers polishing before it is consumed. In this process the rice which is obtained after milling is called raw rice. And other process through which rice is obtained after milling is called, parboiling rice. Rice milling losses may be qualitative or quantitative in nature. Quantitative or physical losses are manifested by low milling recovery while low head rice recovery or high percentage of broken kernel reflects the qualitative loss in rice grains. Method of milling Traditional method before the advent of mechanical milling. Hand-pounding traditional method of rice milling was in practice. In fact, hand-pounding rice has got more nutritive value as compared to machine milling rice. In hand-pounding, a variety of implements is used such as, mechanical method with the introduction of mechanized mills, hand-pounding method has steadily decreased because it could not compete with machine mills. Philippines Nigo are constructed from bamboo and rattan and often a combination of the two. Winnowing, used to separate the rice from hulls, is to put the whole rice into a pan and throw it into the air while the wind blows. During the milling processes, the hulls are removed from the raw grain to reveal whole brown rice, which is then usually milled further to remove the bran layer, resulting in white rice. This is what is called, pinapig, after the rice pounding, it can be eaten and this pinapig is also often mixed with household dishes. It's delicious guys, it still tastes like rice. Shout out to our barangay Batasan QC, Ray Pariñas and specially Arlene Valusera Lodaveca.
don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and God bless. And special thanks to our partner.